low light, high light. Hello there, this is just another very quick product review. For those people who think that I only review boots for 200 quid, I also review other things as well, more affordable things, which include this little fella. This is a telescopic camping lantern from Thor Fire. And it's quite compact, weighs little under 170 grams, so it's not going to take up much space or weight in your pack. And it has quite a few functions, which I'll run through now. First of all, it can act as a flashlight. So you've got a low level setting of 15 lumens, which is any amount bright enough for navigating your way through woodland and so on when you're in total darkness. It's also got a bright setting as well, which is 65 lumens, which is brighter again. It does have an internal battery, and it can be charged with a dynamo. With this little hand crank here on the back. Very well made. And there's a little charge indicator here, which lights up when it's being charged. I'll bring that a little bit closer so you'll be able to see. There you go, the light's on there. That shows that it's being charged. And from one minute of doing this, you can get up to 11 minutes of light out of this thing. Which doesn't sound like much, but if you're walking, you can walk a hell of a long way in 11 minutes. And really, if you can navigate part of the way, you can just be winding this as you're walking. Now, I'm a big fan of anything that's either solar-powered or human-powered. With a dynamo. Because if there ever is some sort of apocalypse in the future, it's going to be these sorts of things that people are going to be relying on. But if you're feeling particularly lazy and you don't want to crank it by hand, you can charge it from this little jack here. Got a USB connection. So this will plug into your PC. It'll plug into an adapter that goes straight into your mains. So pretty much all of your solar chargers will be able to charge this thing. This is a Power Monkey one. So for that one, you'd use the male USB plugged in there. It's not sunny at the moment, so it's not going to charge. But that one would go into here. Yeah. There actually is enough light without the sun to be charging that. You can just see the light coming on there. So there you go. I could leave that outside in the daylight and it would be charging this solar powered torch. Sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it? But it does work. <laughs> now using the charging jack takes about four hours to fully charge the internal battery in here. And from that, on the high power setting, which is the 65 lumens, you will get 40 minutes of continuous output, which is pretty good. But on the low level setting, which is 15 lumens, you'll get four and a half hours. One thing I forgot to mention about this is that it comes with a female USB as well. So that looks just like your charger. But that one's got a female attachment. And what that does, it allows you to attach your phone charging USB into here and you attach your phone just as you normally would if you were charging it up Crank the handle. I don't know whether you can see that Oh, it's just gone off There you go Cranking that is actually charging up the phone. So that is an extra use for this little unit So you've got a strangely shaped flashlight Which you can crank by hand or charge through the USB. What else does it do? Well, it actually opens up and it has a little handle on here. So you can hang this up inside your shelter like I'm going to in a minute or you can hang it up inside your tent wherever you're sleeping just to give you low level light. Very nice design. Well, you can see that's pretty bright that. That's on the high setting. That's 65 lumens. I mean, you're going to be able to see that from miles away. Very, very bright. Just folds down, locks in there. And that's quite secure. It takes a bit of pressure to get that open. There you go. Click shut. I'll set it up inside my little shelter and let you see what it's like. See how much it lights up because it's pitch black in there. Now that's on the lowest light setting and it's lighting the whole of the inside of this shelter up. Those of you who are wondering about this shelter, yes it is the willow shelter that I built 
probably about this time last year. It's still going strong, still watertight, although I have replaced some of the stuff on the outside. All of these things are the original big leaves and ferns, so it's still going well. Kids still play in it. Ooh. That's probably too bright for this little shelter. Uh, that's how dark this shelter is without any light. Low light, high light, any amount bright enough. God, definitely bright enough. I mean, this is bright enough for a six to eight man tent, no problem at all. So there you go, that was just a very quick review of this fella, which is the telescopic Campen Lantern from Thorfire. Look for them on Amazon, on eBay. I'll put a link to one or the other in the video description. Check them out. Check out the other items as well, because if they're as well made as this, you'll be onto a winner because they're not very expensive. Thanks very much for watching. I shall catch you in the next video.